Do you want to be hooked up to a whole bunch of cords, monitors beeping, people walking in and out of your room while you're trying to give birth, bright lights beaming down on your face while you're in labor? I know I surely didn't. So this is me at home laboring with my third baby. This may look a little weird to some of y'all, but this is how natural laboring is supposed to look. And this is me laboring at home. And at this point, my contractions were about 10 to 15 minutes apart. In a little bit, you'll see my other kids come in and talk to me and their dad, and then we put them to bed so that I can continue just to labor and chill at home. So if you clicked on this video because you wanna know why you should labor at home, you're in the right place. So let's get into it. To start out, if this is your first pregnancy, it will take an average of 18 hours. Yes, y'all, 18 hours. <laughs> I labored about 17 hours with my firstborn and I was in active labor with him for an hour and 45 minutes. So the first reason why I think laboring at home is better is because you're in labor for a really long time and you don't wanna be in labor at the hospital for 18 hours plus. Like it just gets really long and tiring if you are in a hospital for 18 hours and most of the time they won't let you be in labor at the hospital for that long anyway. They are going to try to speed things up, which is not good for your body. Labor takes a long time because you're literally about to push a baby out of your body. And at the hospital, they have other people in the rooms that they need to check on too. And they're trying to make the process go faster. And you don't want to be in a situation where you feel rushed to give birth. Like that will make it non-relaxing. That will make it hard for you to really focus on just being in labor. And one of my midwives told me to labor at home as long as possible because those first contractions, they're not even close together. They're like sporadic. They're all over the place, you know. And my first labor, I was literally cooking and making breakfast during my contractions because they weren't as intense. So you don't want to go to the hospital in that early stage when you're really not having really intense contractions. And that brings me to my next point. It also reduces chances of unnecessary interventions. So imagine this, if you're just at home laboring, you can do whatever you want. You can take a bath, you can relax, you can light some candles, you can even watch TV. But if you're in a hospital, they're gonna be trying to hurry up and get that baby out. So they're gonna be trying to start doing interventions on your body. So they may suggest that you, that you get some Pitocin, which is a synthetic hormone that speeds up your labor. So you don't want that. If you really wanna go for a natural birth and you don't really want any interventions, then you should labor at home as long as possible so you don't have to deal with them offering different kind of things to speed up your labor in any kind of way. And if you're laboring at home, you feel more safe and more comfortable, which should make your labor progress on its own. So you won't need any of those interventions that they're trying to do because when you feel safe, secure at home with people who you love, it makes your birth go way faster than being in a hospital, hearing those machines beeping and, you know, people walking in and out of your room, you constantly being checked for your vitals. You can literally just labor peacefully in the comfort of your own home. Another reason you should labor at home is because you can eat or drink whatever you want. So when you're in labor at the hospital, they try to manage you and tell you that you can't eat certain things or drink certain fluids. And sometimes they tell you that you can't eat or drink at all just in case you have to have a C-section, which by the way, one out of three women that are in the hospital have C-sections because most of the time they are pushing for that C-section so that they can get to the next woman who's also in labor. So when you are at home, you can eat anything you want. Like my husband was bringing me snacks throughout my labor. He brought me coconut water. I was eating anything and everything that I wanted to. And it wasn't heavy meals, it was just light snacks so that I can have energy throughout this birthing process. And in that process, you need to 
have snacks and you need to drink coconut water and water so that you can have energy to push the baby out. So here are my kids coming out and this is before they go to bed. They're jumping on me and playing with me and at this point it's okay because I can manage the pain right now and it was just on and off contractions but they were very light and manageable at this point so it was okay but this is why I love laboring at home for forever and me I gave birth at home but in this video I want to encourage everyone no matter where you're giving birth at if you're giving birth at home if you're giving birth in a birthing center if you're giving birth at a hospital it's just better to labor at home as long as you can I didn't call my midwife for a while because I trust my body and I know that everything was going well I was low risk and I just didn't want her just sitting around at my house like I call when I know that the baby is about two hours away from coming and that's when she can come in and help me but I wouldn't just want her just sitting around in my house and I like to labor in privacy like I don't want everybody around staring at me and I don't think no woman wants that it's better to be in a calm chill nice environment to where you can just go through the flow and swing and sway and just manage your contractions calmly and you can kind of lay there and watch TV and talk to your spouse in and throughout the contractions it's so peaceful but um yeah so we are about to put these kids to bed and in about an hour and a half I'm going to give birth which I didn't know at this point but <laughs> there's my son so at this point I was just really managing my contractions I had a diffuser going with essential oils and everything was progressing well so we are about to put them to bed and I'm going to tell you the next reason why you should labor at home last but not least you have more flexibility for pain coping techniques like you have more furniture more tools more food so if you literally want to lay on your bed if you want to lay on the couch you can lay in any position that you want you can get up you can walk around you really can do and lay whatever like whatever you want to do you can do that you um can get in the tub if you want to get in the tub and some people say like that's a calming technique I got in the tub with my um, second child and it was so relaxing and I think not too long after that I gave birth so they say like that's like a natural epidural if you want to take a bath and relax in the tub and if you're in the hospital there's no way that you're getting in a tub I think birthing centers have tubs but if you're in the hospital there is no option for you to lay and relax and get in a tub and honestly they wouldn't want you to do that anyway because they like I said they're trying to speed things up in the hospital and they're not really considering how labor progresses different for each woman they are just literally trying to get to the next woman that's in labor and there's probably about five to ten different women who are in labor on that birthing floor if you have watched this video all the way up until now or listened to this video, I just thank you so much. Um, please subscribe to my channel. And yeah, like I said, there are so many reasons for you to labor at home for as long as you need to. There are so many benefits of laboring at home, like I said. like. Laboring takes a long time and you don't want to feel like you're being rushed. It reduces the chances of un unnecessary interventions. It helps labor progress. No one's telling you what to eat or drink. There's more flexibility for pain coping techniques and it saves you an unnecessary trip to the hospital, guys. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, and you can also watch my full birth video on my page. And that's what it's showing right now. Alright, peace guys. Stay juby. Bye.